being the Shivaratri, the darkest night of the twenty-eight day lunar cycle. This is also a significant day in terms of uh, what happens in the different stratas of the planet. It is not just the darkness of the night. Generally, in the tradition, it is said that uh, the planet Mother Earth broods on this day. On this night, she doesn't sleep, she broods. Or in other words, the intensity of the activity of the fire elements in the planet are uh, in a way kind of much more intense. It is the elements, the fire elements need to be constantly integrated. The very forces of life, the dynamics of the movement of the planet and the other forces of life are constantly trying to dismantle the integrity of the five elements as a combination of creation. It is on this night that Mother Earth tries to integrate herself, get these five elements into a more integral activity or it is kind of brought together in much more forceful way than other nights or other days. So these twenty-four hours starting from this evening till or little more than twenty-four hours, usually the Mamasya lasts for thirty to thirty-two hours in this period. The intensity of the elemental activity or the way they integrate themselves is much more. It has been noticed that if you germinate a seed in a certain controlled conditions on different days of the lunar month, on this day the germination slows down for these twenty-four hours. The way the plant grow slows down because the elements are busy maintaining themselves. They do not contribute much to the growth of the plant because the soil, the whole planet is trying to integrate itself on this day. This is a fantastic natural process that is happening on the planet and this is also a fantastic opportunity for one who is aware to use this as a way to integrate his own system, to integrate the five elements in, also in his own body. So is there some way to do it? Yes, there are specific methods with which we can do. Walk barefoot, especially those of you who find your body is not integrated enough, constantly it's troubling you, such people should walk barefoot. It'll be nice if you can crawl, more contact, I mean. This is why you're prostrate. What do you think is the purpose of taking a dip in the temple pond and going and prostrating inside so that everything in your body comes in touch? This is what Sashtang means, that the key points in your body must be in touch with the earth. For one who is on a spiritual sadhana, particularly on those days, Shivaratri, Amavasya and the next day after that, those three days. What is available on the planet is phenomenal and it's also a reminder for you to intensify your sadhana on that day, not missing the opportunity of what is there. So on that day, walking barefoot, every day there is benefit but on those days there is a particular kind of benefit, which is not only for physical health, but also for spiritual well-being, also for 
creating the necessary momentum in the system for an upward movement for those three days. It will be good to do that. We will provide this uh, uh, substance to you, which is being called as Thai Mannu, which means the Mother Earth. This is a mixture of five different aspects, nearly fifty percent is soil. There is some amount of uh, green gram flower, there is uh, what is called as uh, organic camphor and there is a little bit of soap nut powder and there is one more herb in that. All together, you can apply this. If you have the time, the best way to do it is apply to your entire body, do your practice and then shower without soap because this will act as soap because it has soap nut powder and other aspects to it. It will leave a mild sense of camphor on the body. It is very healing in various ways. It opens up the pores of your skin. If you do this at least for two to three hours, do not apply any cream or oil or anything because the body has to breathe. Breathing is not just through your nostrils. Every pore in the skin has to breathe. The more it breathes, the more it's connected to everything around you and your energetic body will develop well if you allow the body to breathe. You must understand this, if you put any harsh chemical on the thing, by natural resistance the pores will close. This is what is happening when you apply soap, it is closing. Well, if it is necessary, your body is in a certain condition, you want to use soap, it's all right, it's not you have to be puritanical like right, that, but generally being conscious that applying anything sticky or oily also blocks the pores. Applying any kind of chemical, naturally the body cringes and closes, it'll open after some time, but it'll close at that time. Especially if you're showering with cold water, body should open up, body should receive the water. And if you use this as also like soap, you apply it as much as you want and you can wash it off with water, you will see the difference that the body feels because not because of its own accord, because of the way it opens you up to the elements. But if that is not possible for you, you… you have only certain amount of time for your sadhana, then the places that you need to apply is the soles of your feet, very important, and your palm, around the navel, anahata, where the ribcage meets, pit of the throat or the entire throat, and forehead, just here you can apply or you can apply the whole thing or you can apply for your whole face if you wish. But it's all a question of convenience, you may be working and you may be seeing people with your face full of mud, it may not be practical, you can just keep it like this, like how Vibhuti is kept like that, you can just apply. According to your convenience, you do it, but there is no harm in applying it at least once a month or once a week or whatever it allows, entire body and doing that. If you keep at least one day in the cycle of the moon, that is one during Amavasya to Pavnami and one during Pavnami to Amavasya. That means every fourteen to fifteen days, if you keep one day where you apply head to toe, spend two, three hours doing this, in terms of health and well-being, there will be immense benefits one can clearly see.